Thelonious Monk, comedian, creator of Stop It Be web series, and I'm a Muslim in America. The morning that it, it actually happened, I remember listening to um, a national radio program. I was riding to a friend's house at the time. I was doing some computer work, and I heard about it on the radio, and I kept changing the channels because it just sounded like a news report. I wasn't actually aware of the news report, so I kept clicking other channels, and it seemed like everybody was talking about the same thing. I remember going to the guy's house who I was doing the computer work for, and he said, hey, did you hear about what happened? I said, yeah, and the first thing he said was, you know they're saying it's Muslims. And I remember my immediate reaction was, it's not gonna be about those Muslims, it's gonna be about Islam, period. And it was almost like an immediate reaction to knowing you're gonna be blamed for something that you didn't do, but you can't prove you didn't do it. It's more about, it was always more about the perception of Islam as opposed to the realities of a billion plus people who live peacefully versus, you know, however many, whatever percentage of people who don't. So I, I just kind of remember that whole period of time as being aware immediately that it was going to change things for everybody forever, you know, especially someone like me who, who has the appearance, the beard is there, you know, I may not wear it on my sleeve, but I don't hide it either. In every era, there's been a group of people that it was okay to discriminate against. And right now, it's, it's the Muslim's turn. You know, there's, there's blatant and overt disrespect. I've pointed out to people that there are some statements in the Old Testament that are similar to the statements in the Quran that talk about death to infidels. And in each case, they were talking about specific incidents. They weren't talking about this is your mindset as a whole. They were saying, hey, you're being attacked. When you're being attacked, anyone attacking you, fight them until all of them are dead. But it's okay to point that out in the Quran and say that Islam is a religion of hate and Judaism isn't. Neither are religions of hate. But we're at a point in our lives now where especially in this country, where it's okay to infringe upon a person's right to believe what they believe. And that's something that 10 years ago, 11 years ago, wouldn't happen. And you see a particular group depicted over and over and over again as the enemy, subconsciously I think you start to accept either they're the enemy or it doesn't bother you as much. There's an apathy. But I, I can't speak for Muslims everywhere because it's not a monolith. We're not, we're not one group of people who thinks everything is exactly the same. We don't all think the same, do the same. You know, there are Muslims of varying degrees of faith. There are Muslims of varying degrees of practice. Um, but what I can say for every one of us, no one wants to see a smaller percentage of people portrayed as the entire group.